Hi guys, um, in this video I want to just go over the definition of coordinates relative to a basis. So um, our setup is we have a basis, a vector space, okay, so we have a vector space V, and B is a uh, basis for the vector space, and it has n elements, say, Okay, and what I want to tell you about is, um, of course, we know that, um, so we have, let's say, a proposition, or just, if you use the definition of what a basis is, um, or I'll say each, maybe, so each, V in V, can be represented uniquely as a linear combination of the basis vectors. And the CIs are coming from the scalars, scalar field. Good. Okay, and okay, and um, these numbers, these scalars, the CIs, we'll call those the coordinates. I guess we might as well prove this just to be safe. Um, so first of all, since the span of the V's and if we have a vector in V then certainly the span of the V's is just all the things that look like this. So if V is a vector, it is a linear combination of the VI's. that's what the definition of span is. The span of v1 up to vn is all the vectors which have this form. So if the span of the v1 up to vn is v, then every vector in v has this form. Okay, so far so good. We've shown that every vector has a representation as a linear combination of the vi's. So let's say that we have two, um, two, representation, two representations of the same, same vector. Here's, here's, um, this is a vector which can be represented as a linear combination in two different ways. Okay, but we'll see it's, they must be the same way because we can subtract, subtract this from both sides. And you got C1, V1, plus Cn, Vn minus d1 v1 minus d2 v2 minus dn vn equals the zero vector okay and if you rearrange it you'll see this is of the, the form c1 minus d1 times v, vn first times v1 plus c2 minus d2 times v2 plus cn minus dn times vn equals zero. Okay, great. But now um, v1 up to vn are supposed to be linearly independent. And here I have some scalars times the vi's, which gives me zero. So each of these scalars has to be zero. So we have c1 minus d1 equals zero. It's okay. 
Okay, I'll charge it. Okay, so all the coefficients are zero since v1 up to vn are linearly independent. Um, thank you for watching this quick video.